Breaking news, Osibanjo Oni of Ife to attend a Yoruba conference. Okay, now uh, Oni of Ife is a traditional ruler. Uh, Osibanjo is a vice president of the country and um, I mean, they are to attend the conference together. But I would really like to, I would really like us to pay attention to what is really going on and what is really very important. Yeah, I appreciate the fact that they are attending this meeting and they are doing well. Right now, there are other issues pressing in Yoruba land, uh, you know, and one of such things is Sunday Boho, who is currently in custody for committing no crime. Um, whatever part of the line of the divide you find yourself, if you think Osiba and Joe is, is, you know, should speak into Sunday Igboho, you can act actually, you know, uh, air your view because um, Osiba and Joe is the vice president of the country. And um, if Sunday Igboho has done anything wrong, you know, or has not done anything wrong, he should be able to interpret from the arms of the law and be able to speak. I know that it will look very, it will look like um, you're trying to speak for yourself, but we see what the North is doing. Look at the MD of uh, of uh, um, of uh, Nigerian Port Authority, whom uh, uh, Rotimi Amechi is her boss. She took one hundred and sixty billion. She refused to remit it to the federal account, and Rotimi suspended her. Do you know that Buhari and the Attorney General of the Federation have ruled the way the court the, the court matter and have pretended like that is not happening, but every other person put their people in the in the in the, in the leave their people to burn in the fire. So let's get all the details. The Oni of Ife, Oba Adeyeye, and the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, are expected to attend the foundation lane of the Yoruba Center, World Center. The ceremony will hold at the University of Ibadan on Tuesday, 23rd November. The center is the brainchild of the International Center for Yoruba Arts and Culture. We are sincerely glad to have them in attendance. However, Yorubas have been reacting to the center being inaugurated and saying they expect Yoruba leaders to meet and to also discuss the possibility of their son coming out of the current predicament, Sunday Boho, who on the 1st of July, home was raided by unknown gunmen who later identified themselves as Nigerian DSS. We know the activities of DSS in the country and how they continue to intimidate Nigerians and nothing particular to ensure freedom for Nigerians, freedom of speech and expression. The oppression in Nigeria currently today is not one for everyone to keep quiet about and pretend that this is not happening. We expect Yoruba leaders to also stand up and ensure that they defend their own, ensure freedom for Sunday Igboho and Unandi Kano. These are people who have not committed any offense but being held by the Nigerian government because they speak out for truth, because they speak out against wrongdoing in our society. Nigerians continue to ask that this be visited Instead of attending meetings for pleasantries, Nigerians continue to ask that this be looked at immediately. You know, so this is what is going on. Uh, and um, for, for things to become better, everyone has to tell the truth. Everyone has to be, you know, we have to be in a position to, to really, you know, say exactly what is going on. We have been here for far too long for this oppression going on. If Yoruba leaders are going to be meeting, it's good. Yoruba Center is being inaugurated. It's a very good cause. It's a very good thing. Uh, I mean, kudos to, you know, all those who have put this together. Uh, it's it's a mark to ensure, you know, that, um, that, you know, to ensure that Yoruba race is being, is being, you know, is being fostered to continue in knowing, you know, that they exist and they are doing well. You know, and so this whole thing have continued. But guess what? People have been oppressed. Yeah, people have been oppressed. Sunday, for, for, for starters, Tinubu 
you know, made a statement some time ago saying that, uh, well, um, he, he made a statement some time ago saying that, well, uh, he does not believe in this himself, the Speaker of the House, some governors. Is that why Sunday Boho homes should be invaded? And I mean, they, they treated him like a thief, destroyed all his property like he did not work for them. You know, even if, you know, even if, even if, you know, a, a Nigerian government do not get uh, a punishment from human being, I just personally believe that they will get a punishment from God. We cannot continue to oppress people and think that we can go scot-free. Oppression is a, is a terrible thing. Oppression is a terrible thing. Very terrible. How can we oppress, you know, those who are defending others because we want to have our way? And thank God for the southern governors coming up to say we are banning open grazing. You know, we're banning open grazing. That has slowed down all that is happening currently today. That has slowed down, you know, the, the current, you know, oppression of oppression that was coming on the south. Thanks to Sunday Boho, you may not remember, but his fight was part of, you know, against the, the, the Fulanese for encroaching into other people's land and committing all these forms of atrocities. This is why you see that you know this was this this has this these governors coming together, the governors of the south to put a ban on open grazing. It started with Sunday Boho raising an alarm. It was there no governor in Oyo State before it started saying people we are being oppressed. Was there no governor? But Sunday Boho raised the alarm. Same people are being killed. People, I mean, it has been happening. That's what I'm saying. It's not like Sunday Boho was, but he, he made it more known. It's been happening. People have been oppressed. Farmers have been killed. But when somebody took, took that, that, that initiative and said, uh, you know, the soccer, the, uh, the, the Saki of Fulani in, in Ibadan must leave. That was what gave people voices to begin to speak. It became a voice of hope. But what are we doing today? The very essence of the people who have helped us got here are the ones we are neglecting. Yet you are having gallivanting around town, having parties and having different things going on. And every one of us just pretend that these things are not happening. Oppression is wrong. As they stand, they should speak against evil going on. They should. They should speak against evil going on. You know, as they're having this meeting, part of that meeting, inauguration should be Sunday, Boho. There are no people which inauguration are you doing? What are you doing inauguration for? How do you sustain the race? Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please do not forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye.